So this is the second episode of the interview series. The first one was Florian Valo. Uh, a lot of you watched and, and you're back here again, so thank you. And we have, uh, we have more coming. We're already um, preparing the episode three, so I hope you guys like it. And he should be with us in a few minutes. So again, guys, if you have questions, make sure to type in the comment section below uh, so we can ask him at the end. We'll do a little Q&A. So it could be about anything. It could be about, uh, like I said, his time, his, his training with Chelsea and all of this, okay? So he should be here in a few minutes. about to connect right now so again make sure you type your questions if you have any for the end Pierre. hey salut ça va ça va, ça va et toi tu m'entends bien ouais ça va je t'entends je t'entends tu m'entends bien ouais parfait all right guys this is it Pierre is here with us How hello are you? guys I'm good I'm good you very good thank you again thank you for uh, for taking the time of being with us um, we thank hope you you're good me. where are you right now you in Paris or you in uh, London Yes, I am in Paris, yes. Back in Paris. How's everything? The family is okay? Yeah, all family is okay there. They all work, thank you. You're all spending right. time in quarantine, yeah, that's it. Okay, good. So you st you're staying fit? You have a, a program? Did Chelsea give you some stuff to do during the break? Yes, I do, I do. Every day, uh, after run, with and without the ball, uh, that depends. A lot of different things every single day. Sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's not, but it's good. You have, yeah, you have to keep fit all, that's it. all the month. Got to gotta maintain that. Did you have um, any idea when you will be able to go back to London to start training again? or? For the moment, they, it's maybe the 1st of July, but maybe. Not okay. sure. All right, that'd be good. That'd be good. Yeah, it might be good, yeah. All right. So, guys, uh, we're about to start. Okay, we have a lot of people joining. That's perfect. Yeah, so, that's good. Uh, Pierre, can you just start by giving us a bit of a context and just tell us quickly about your journey from Paris to signing professionally into one of the biggest clubs in the world, which is uh, Chelsea. <laughs> and then we'll just go detail by detail. I have a lot of questions. And at the end, we'll do a little Q&A as well with all the, the kids from the academies watching. Okay? Sure, sure. So go on. So, I start football at eight. Like in my place or so Arpajon. After I went to Brittany, uh, another place just near my house. And at Brittany at 12, 12 and 13 years old, I done um, the Clairefontaine uh, stuff for when to, for, for um, until to Clairefontaine. That was tough, really. That so was, that was at 12 years old, 13 years old? Yeah, 12, 13, like because it's all the year. Yeah. So it's like 12, 13, uh, 12, 14 years old. That was tough, yeah. So I went to Clefferton for in two years. I've done two years in Clefferton after I went to Nut. And between in Nut, I went to, I played for the national team and the That's 16 right. national team. And you were the captain and as well, right? Yeah, I was captain, yeah. That was a good experience. Really, really good experience. Thank you. And after after that, I went to Chelsea, and now I just achieved my second year in Chelsea. That's that's what a journey it has been already for you. You're still very young. Yeah, yeah. This is already amazing. So <laughs> uh, let's, go, let's go. Let's um, go a little more in details about about uh, Clairefontaine. So just uh, for everybody who's listening, Clairefontaine it's uh, the National Institute of Football. Uh, so it's basically a pre academy for all the yeah. players in the, in the Paris area, right? Yeah. So, can you tell us about the test to enter uh, Clairefontaine? Yeah, so you got six tests. 
it's like um you got free like for year for your your department so, so that, me that's from... in in october september i guess yeah yeah that's that around here exactly very that's early. that around here very early in the year and so you got three you got one you got the second and you got the third which is the artist for your department so i'm from 91 so i went i went to the 91s and after you doing the 91s you went to the oldest st- like we can call it the state isn't it yeah yeah it's like yeah. the region of the state yeah. yeah it's like the region of state isn't it so with all the states so all different department so it's, it's tougher after you got so you got three more one two three you got three more and after you go fourth one when you do like a, a week like a week of a uh, typical Clairefontaine player and after that's it and after you you, you get picked or not guys ju- just to give you uh, even more context on this just to tell you how difficult it is to to enter this academy there's about 2000 kids each year trying out to get there in october and this part of france from around paris is actually the part where the most professional players come from so the level is yeah. already extremely high and out of the 2000 is that 2023 you get chosen at the end uh yeah 23 yeah. 23 per year so just to tell you guys how difficult it is so again yeah, congrats is. congrats on entering uh this national institute of football uh can you describe a week there like how it is because Again, you are on site, you're sleeping there, you're eating there every day, you practice twice a day, I guess. Yeah, sometimes. So what, what, can you go through like a normal week? Like a normal week is you go to school on a Friday to 8 to 4 o'clock. You get back, you're training at 5 o'clock, finish at 6, 6.30, you eat at 7 And all the day you haven't got you haven't got your phone, so it's like to seven to seven thirty you got your phone, so you got a fourteen minute in a day for call your parents or go to the social media. And between these thirty minutes, you eat as well. So it's like fifteen minutes you eat, fifteen minutes you call your parents and that. Yeah. After you got thirty minutes of rest, and at eight o'clock you, that start like the. Um, The, the the English things the um, sorry the um, how you call it again sorry je pas en en anglais c'est quoi uh, yeah the lessons okay so you got English lesson math lessons and French so on, lessons on, on top of school uh, uh, at the end of the day you have even more lesson yeah, yeah. so it's mon- on Monday is French lesson on Tuesday is math lesson and on Thursday is English lesson that's very interesting because We imagine that in this type of institute, you just concentrate on football, but actually, guys, they concentrate on school maybe as much as football. Yeah, as they much. Want to Definitely you. as much. That's very interesting. So, the entire week, school, and then practice every day? Yeah, every single day. And really, it's really hard because you got a lot of good players. So, it's really, really hard. So, you have to really train hard on specific thing all the time yeah because even if you guys are all together and like i imagine it's like kind of like a little family because you're 24 7 together you still are fighting for your spot and fighting to get better yeah. so you also have this competitive uh, mindset to have and, uh, exactly. and in, the, in the weekend what happens uh in the weekend so you got your own club so me i was playing in Brittany the first year and uh in the Other club, not Paris Saint Germain, but other club from Paris. So you get to the weekend. So you get on Saturday, three o'clock. You play against all the team in all the department. And Sunday you got Sunday off. And on a Sunday before seven o'clock, you get back to Clermont Ten. So you barely have no time for anything else. No you know, time for anything else. School. <laughs> I, I just saw a really good question here. Do you have to pass a school test um, to go to Clairefontaine to enter? No, no, you're not. It's like they get your like your grades from the two years you pass in your college. Okay. So, so in your, while you're in school, they ask to see the transcript. 
to see what type of students you are. Exactly. And after, if you got good, good grades, you you will go in Clemson. But you have to get, you have to have good grades and be good at and football good if well. you want to go. Yeah, very very important. And uh, so now, um, as you know, we have uh, Jean Claude Lafargue, who is now our uh, supervisor. And yeah. he was um, a coach and as well as a director. Was was he the director when you were there? Yeah, he was a coach as well. Coach and director. Can you tell us uh, a little bit about him? What what have you learned from him? Uh, did he teach you anything special? And if you remember something from him? He taught us and me uh, everything. Like, he taught me, he taught us the football. Like, in Clairefontaine or... Uh, The both the both of the coaches and even him they teach you how to understand the game it's not about how directly like to play and this is understand the game and i think the most thing i did like i do remember is do the right thing do what's the game demand like Very interesting do what's the game demand and i think yeah All the way to the top, you will. For me, you will. You will be a great player, definitely. And he was. Yeah, he was a top it, man, really. He yeah, I mean, we love him too. He, he's uh, he's been here a couple of times, and uh, what he's teaching the coaches and the players is is very valuable. And guys, can you can you just say one more time so all everybody who's watching uh, is watching here. Um, Especially all the kids from our academy can can really uh, process that. W what he taught you, he said. Just he play. said, "Play was the game demand. Play what the game demand. Very very interesting. And um, so you did two years in this uh, in this academy, and after this, so at the end of the two years, this is when all the professional academies just come in and decide who they want to take from uh, from Clairefontaine. How does it work yeah, exactly? But That worked like because be at 12 and 13 years old, people like from the clubs, people from the clubs come to you for like taking you and signing you. So me, I signed at 12 years old for Nantes. So that that was just a great thing to me to went uh, to be in Camp 10. But for okay. some people, that was a good thing to prepare to sign for another club because so I was. Yeah. Sorry, you actually signed for Nantes before going to Clairefontaine. Yes, exactly. It was already a done deal after that. Okay. Yeah, but some people haven't. Like some people um, signed for the at the time at, at Clairefontaine in the two years, and that is really good thing because every single game we played, you got lots and lots of people coming for for what the scouts. Yeah, the, yeah, scouts, the scouts of coming. Academies. Okay. Very good and. Uh, Did you, um, I was about to say, do you have, the, the other players from your year, from your promotion, can you tell us examples of where they went after those two years? Uh, f like, three went in Rennes, three went in Rennes. Trois, uh, two went in Monaco, some went in Rennes, uh, lots of different parts of, the, uh, of France, But definitely. Basically, out of the 23 players, basically everybody got signed by a pro academy. Yeah, okay. basically, only one didn't sign for This is an academy on in our year. But basic all the time, the 23 players got to sign for an, an academy at the end. Very yeah. good, thank you. And so now you're 15 years old. You play for Nantes, and uh, you also was, uh, called by the French national team in the U16. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Can you just tell us how that happened and what did you feel at the time? I felt I felt really proud. I felt really proud first because it's your national team. You always yeah. want to play for your national team for sure. I felt really proud, and yeah, yeah. I think I felt really proud. That's it. There's nothing and there's nothing higher than this. The yeah, the nothing higher. Is a goal. Yeah, nothing higher. Nothing higher. Really, I've and got so, like really a feeling, a great feeling. And so, you play. How, how long did you play for Nantes before signing for Chelsea? One year. One year, and then 
same thing. Can you tell us a bit how you learned about Chelsea wanting you, your first reaction, and and the step that followed after that? I learned. I learned around uh, October, November, December. I I didn't really know. I was like, oh yeah, people come come see you for watch your game. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They always come in. I like, yeah. You should say that. Oh, I you should say that. But I wasn't really paying attention to that. And after that, getting like really on on to me, on to me. The agents called me, called my dad. I was like, oh, that's really serious. And after, yeah, I just keep playing and Chelsea came to me and started to talk with Nantes and after they saw me so I was that was really quick because I, I didn't finish like the end of the of the year like for my class I, yeah. did, I didn't finish my class I went straight to Chelsea because so you left I couldn't in, finish in January no I didn't left in January I, I left in something like May, uh, April or May in April yeah okay So yeah, almost a, a complete year, and um, yeah. And so, what was the most difficult thing for you to adapt over there? Was it the language, the type of football? Because it's still a bit different. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. I don't know. What was the most difficult thing for you to adapt? I think the most difficult thing though was the language because if you can't speak, people can't understand you, and if you don't understand, you can't you can't you can't speak with people in that. So I think first that was the language. Because that really, I was two hours on the pitch, so that yeah. was fun. But the language, I had to use it because I went to the host family. I mean, host family, and I asked to to speak English because they speak English all the time. That's smart. So I learned the language quite quickly. Forget well, that you... able to speak with everyone. Yeah, you, speak, after... you speak pretty good right now. Thank oh, you. Thank yeah, you. it's very good. And do you have any any other French players in the team? Yes, I did. I do even now. I got Nicolas Chia. I don't know if you know, if you heard okay. about him. He's from Poitiers. Okay. And I've got couples who speak French, but they're not French. Marquei, Dinar Simeu, Tiano Balo. They have been really good with me because they was there and they understand me. My, they understand my position. Like yeah. I couldn't speak with everyone. And they they help. I, I bet you you helped a lot at first. And so. Um, And then quickly, you uh, you started to train with the first team. So you are 17, 18 years old, and yeah. uh, and you have the first team. Who was the coach at the time? Sari. And you have Sari who's coming and say, "Hey, Pia, you train with us today." Yeah. What happened now in your head? You're like, "Oh, that really happened." It's like, <laughs> it's like it's a now, dream come it's true. Like, yeah, it's like a dream come true. But you know, it's just couples training it's not it's not game so you're like all right but it's couple training that's the start of everything so yeah. you give it when you go you give 100 you want to get the ball you want to do a uh, all the right thing show. You gotta yeah show you, have to, you gotta show yourself because if the if people send you there that's mean like you're able to to show yourself so i just show exactly. myself and at the time that was azard was in the team David Luiz that was was in the team, that Pedro was in the team, you're like, oh, you see them players, you're like, they are big players, so I have wow. to do well. So tell us who who impressed you the most uh at training? Uh I think lots, lot of them. Kante, Giro, Pedro, Aza, David Luiz, they they impressed yeah, me like the intensity they put. See, it's legends and the intensity they put like every single day. You're like, wow! After all like, that, I don't know, seven, eight years, they they still got it. They still got this angle yeah. to to train really hard. And you're like, wow, this is really a big thing. And just so re just uh, for the records for everybody who's watching, you are playing center midfielder now. Yeah, center midfielder. Center midfielder. So who's it, who are you in comp in direct competition with? Of in the first team. Yeah, in the first team. Just Yeah, I'm like I'm with Jorginho and Conte with my friends. So, but I don't think you can move Conte or Jorginho. So it's like yeah, it's difficult. They must have been amazing. Just I'm, I'm sure you learned a lot just by training with them and just by watching them. Yeah, how they are exactly. the training, how they actually train, and and so, and so what were the the biggest differences you would say between a practice in the U18 team and a practice with the first team? What was the biggest differences in there? I think the intensity 
and the technicals bits because they really more technicals. They can't. They don't miss like two passes in a row. They, mm-hmm. they miss one. That's it. And so the ball never go like off the pitch or thing like this. Always stay yeah. on the pitch. Then that's why the intensity is really really hard. Hi, so yeah, yeah. I bet you don't want to be the the player in the middle during a round, though. That's not the best. Yeah, <laughs> that's not the best thing. Um, wow, well, that's amazing. And uh, and the Frenchies, uh, N'Golo Kante, Olivier Giroud, what did they they make you feel comfortable when you arrived there? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Like as soon as I came, and I said, yeah, I'm French, and they said, oh, you French, and we started to speak French, and they were they was like really, really, really good with me. Yeah, really. That's great to know that there's still this little camaraderie in between you guys. All yeah. right. Um, so now I, got, I have uh, five, uh, five questions. So we're going to do a little uh, rapid fire. And then yeah. I'll, take, uh, I'll take some uh, some questions. There's a lot of questions in the chat. Thank you, guys. We're just going to look at them in a minute. So if you have questions, just wait. And, uh, and we'll finish by this. All right. Uh, rapid fire questions. You're going to have to answer as soon as the question <laughs> is over. Okay? Uh. All right. Ready? Yeah. Um, let's start with which was your favorite team when you were growing up? Chelsea. Now that was that was I can't lie. Yeah, I can't, I can't lie. Wow. Jogba was there, so I can't That's lie. That's amazing. Ito played as well, so yeah. All right, Chelsea. Who is uh, your favorite player growing up? Zidane and Pirlo. Very good choice. Zidane is mine as well. Um, what position did you play before midfielder? Oh, lots. Centre back, left back, and left wing. Okay. Uh, what is your best memory on the football field? Um, first captain of the under seventeen national team. I can imagine that. And what is your worst memory on the soccer field? Oh, I think losing uh, like a final when I was uh, ten years old. Yeah, those hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Them was us. <laughs> All <laughs> right. Fine. Thank you, Pierre. All right, that's it, guys. Send us some questions. Uh, I'm gonna take the one that comes uh, first, and uh, and we'll answer this for a bit, and then uh, we'll let you go because even if you're in quarantine, we can't take too much of your time. No, I'm fine. Um, do you have another nationality, and which uh, would you play? Can you play for another nationality or just for France? No, I can't because I've got just one passport, so I'm just French. For France. How long did you, how many training did you do with the first team? Um, like three or four last year, yeah. Three or four. Keep them coming, guys. Send us those questions. I'm trying to see if here. We, we should go up, maybe. Have you, have you practiced with when uh, Frank Lampard was a coach yet? Or no? No. Only with Sarri. Um, how was Sarri as yeah. a coach? He was, he, was, he was great, didn't speak too much. Uh, Zola speak a lot and okay. just keep cheering you all the time. Yeah, come on, do that, do that, do this, do that, do that, do that, do like this, do like that. Okay. Do you follow a specific diet? Not really specific one, like I'm on that, eat this, I'm on that. Eat. But I'm just, eat, I'm just trying to eat really good and keeping okay. like, my body can really down. Stay healthy. Guys, it's very yeah, important exactly. as well. Hope you're hearing this. Everybody from the academy, guys, you got to eat healthy if you want to play at a high level. If you want to be able to train every day with that intensity, you got to be healthy. Yeah. Um, well, we'll finish with this one after. Any other questions, guys? Oh, you got, I've got one. What should we do to get better during quarantine? Uh, <clears throat> what should we do? Just keeping fit all the time. Training hard, like really, really hard. Because for me, it's the best time. It's like pre-season. You got a long yeah. time for prepare yourself. Try to work on your weaker points. I don't know if it's uh, speed or charms or technical. So, yeah, just work on it. And because now you got time for do it, so you can't say I haven't got time. So now do it, and that's it. You're gonna no get excuses. Down. No excuses. No excuses. No excuses. Your favorite position growing up. Actually, what's what's your favorite position? Because 
maybe you play a position that you're not a fan of and you want to play somewhere, but sometimes you are better in a, in a position that we don't like. What position, the, what was your favorite position growing up? I always wanted to be a midfielder because you're touching the ball every yeah. single time. Yeah. You got the ball all the time, so and I like having the ball. So. You, you're more of a defensive midfielder? I can play, yeah, like six or I can play eight. That depends where they want, where the coach want me. How do you guys play in, in, uh, in the youth of Chelsea? Do you follow the pattern of the, of the first team? No, we don't. Okay. No. Every coach is do the do them things. We play at the back. Um, six, not really in midfield, but it's like we got uh, two wingers, left, left, left wing, mm -hmm. right wing. And you got four in midfield, but, um, like a box in midfield, and you got okay. one striker. And me, I play, you know, um, box but down in the box, okay. so six. All right. Uh, was it difficult to separate from your family and to go, I guess, living away from them, or did you adapt um, quickly? I did adapt quickly when I went to Clefton. That was. That, that that wasn't really hard because you know you're with your boys and you're like yeah you know you're gonna laugh all the time so that was that was yeah. fun I think yeah that was fun the hardest thing when I when I start to understand is when I went to Nantes because that was you know I, I think that was in July I went to Nantes so that was really early in the in um, vacation. And I understand that now it's going to be like really difficult. And that's been difficult at Nantes, like couples, couples of weeks. But after I will be fine. Even when I went to, to Chelsea, I was, I was fine. I wasn't you down. Get, yeah, you get used to it. I was really it, fine. Yeah, yeah. Get, you get used to it. Did you get offers from other clubs after Nantes? Did you get offers from me? I, I did. I did have offers, but I chose Chelsea, yeah. Okay. Chose Chelsea. So you're uh, you're lefty, right? Yeah, left, yeah. Left footed. I'm left footed. How, how's yeah. your right foot? <laughs> um, my right foot, I think, is okay. Yeah, maybe you have to ask my coaches and my teammates. <laughs> but I will say it's okay. <laughs> yeah, guys, it's very important to work on both feet. I just yeah, think that we do at the academy. We really want players to use both feet. Um. Okay. All right. That's pretty much. All right. One uh, last question, which is, um, uh, I think, something that can help everybody, not only the young players, but if you would have one advice for soccer players, uh, something they should always remember, what would it be? Uh, always remember. I think it's um, believe in you. And work hard. If you believe in you, you will work hard, and you're gonna achieve your goals definitely. That's it. You don't, you don't need anything else, guys. Believe in yourself. You get that confidence, yeah. and work For hard. Sure. Work hard. Go to practice and be be ready yeah. to. Hundred percent every in. single day, even after getting the gym. Hundred percent. If you want to do more, you do more. Even in quarantine, if you want to do more in quarantine, do it. You got time for it. You can rest all day if you want. So right. do it. Perfect. That's what I was hoping. Thank you so much for saying that. Listen, thank yeah, you that, was, that was a uh, that was a lot of fun. So thank you again for for taking yeah, the time. That was fun. That was good. And uh, well, hopefully we'll be able to interview again soon when uh, when you start in Premier League or. <laughs> yeah, for sure. We for don't sure. know. We don't know what happens, but we wish you uh, good luck for the next season and, uh, and good luck thank for the rest you. of your career. All right, thank you. Good luck to you as Thanks well. Thanks a lot, Pierre. Thank you. Bye. See you. Bye.